On this episode of Devious Por Vida is Jesse's 50 Chevy. Now, we've been videoing it and building it for a while, and those who follow us already on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff, you've seen a lot of pictures of it and kind of have an idea what we already did. But for you new people, we're gonna rewind the tape. We're gonna show you from start, build up, and uh, you just gonna have to wait and see because there's some really cool shit on this one. Super excited. We're on our way to Jesse's house right now to pick up his truck and uh, it's a 50 Chevy. It is awesome and, and I can't wait to make it even more awesome because of the ideas we have going back and forth. I like the color. The inside is something I like to keep the same. Simple. Um, simple. And obviously I think, what is it? We're going to do automatic. So yep. keep the three in the tree look. Yeah. Just to make it automatic. Yeah. The five window is sick. Yeah. Things are really good shape. I'm not sure the tips are going to be able to stay. Yeah, I don't think that would be able to. I plan on putting that though. Uh, underneath the side, right, right yeah, underneath here? Take out the sides or something. We're going to put those tips back over here though. I think right there. That would look nice on each side. Maybe raise it. We'll raise the bed for them too. You okay. don't see any suspension. It's nice and clean. You still use the bed. What do you, what do you want to do to cover the, the tank? I was thinking of like a chest, an old school classic chest, kind of like similar like this. If we raise the bed floor up, uh -huh. you won't see any of it. So put it underneath. Yeah. Okay. So and then we can, we can add a chest if you want something to throw stuff in. Working with Jesse is so awesome. We've done a few cars together and uh, we just work well together. We have the same ideas, same vision. It's like two little kids on Christmas. Yeah. Hey, I got this, I got that, you know, and you get excited. Um, we're talking about changing the paint color, doing the interior. We talked about the exhaust outlets. We talked about raising the bed floor and keeping everything hidden. Uh, we have the same vision. It's really cool, man. I'm, I'm excited to do this one. It's another beautiful day. It's a Monday with my boy Jesse here. I'm going to take his truck in the shop and cut it up. I can't wait to see the final product. I've been waiting for this forever. So Jesse calls me one day and he's like, hey, Jeff. I'm like, what's up? He's like, oh, I'm just cruising up the freeway and this guy just passed me in a 50 Chevy just like mine doing 120. Can mine do that? It's sure. about to. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we got an LS conversion going in it with overdrive transmission, bagging it, putting this puppy on the ground, put some 20 inch wheels and tires on it. Things going to be sick. I appreciate everything you do for me. I appreciate it. We can't wait to see that. That's going to be one. fun. It's going to be a fun one. <laughs> have our front clip off, the old motor and tranny out of it, and the bed off of it. Now we can start on the suspension. We'll do the front and the rear. Uh, we'll do a Mustang 2 in the front, a four-link in the rear, and then uh, we're ready to put the motor and tranny together. motor training together, drop it in, get the mounts made. Uh, at that point, we'll pull it back out, pull the cab off of it, disassemble, and send a powder coat. -wee! This is my favorite part of a project. We just got it back from powder coat, and now it's time to make it look like a truck. This color is epic. I love the root beer brown, the gold flake. Woo, it's amazing. I love it. It's going to look hot. I can't wait to get started.
sure you're assembling all the suspension, make sure everything works, make sure everything is adjusted right, make sure the alignment's straight. Um, and now we're gonna have to test the, the bed and we notice that uh, we have to stretch the rear fenders because we're doing a 20 by 10 in the back. So we wanna get a little more clearance and the tire will rub when it lays all the way down. Well, hope you enjoyed this little rewind. Uh, it's kind of been fun for me as well. But next episode, we have the cool stuff going in there. The big horsepower, the paint, the interior. Oh, this thing is sick. Can't wait to show you.